Greetings metalheads and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm back showing off a little handful of some of my recent cassette acquisitions, some of my recent cassette tapes. Um, some of these I bought a few months ago but due to the sheer quantity of stuff that I seem to be ordering I don't always get around to listening to things straight away but this particular little batch is what I've been spinning over the last couple of weeks and actually I think they're definitely worthwhile recommending to you definitely worthwhile checking out some of these have featured in some of my more recent unboxing videos but as I say sometimes it takes a little while to get round to them but now that I've actually had time to listen to them and I've been spinning them fairly routinely I can actually recommend them properly and give them a proper review and proper justice so we've got six tapes in total a real mix but generally fitting in the broad black metal subgenre some on the more death thrash or black and thrash I should say more fittingly black and thrash end of the spectrum some of them a little bit more punky some of them a little bit more traditional but all brilliant and well worth checking out indeed so we'll kick off with this first little article then this is by a band I believe this is their only release so far but a band from Pennsylvania USA and this band is entitled Spitter and this album is entitled Bathe the Baby in Bat's Blood which is a particularly disturbing name Bathe the Baby in Bat's Blood but if you look at them you know that's the line up there and the cover itself um, hopefully you can see it although it's a little bit mini of course on this little cassette insert it's uh yeah they they look like they're um a slightly more gothed up punk sort of kiss i suppose but actually this is a really quite enjoyable album it, it's very short that's a little red shell there really cool quite cool uh released through uh Hell's Headbangers Records, um, 2022, rather. So it's actually quite recent. This is a very punk slash sort of, I guess, rock infused or rock and roll infused black metal, like black and roll, um, but definitely very, very punky. There's a strong injection of misfits and motorhead. You've got a kind of venom vibe going on there. You've got, you've got a lot of different things, different elements in there. It, at times it's kind of like um, edging on that sort of um, blackened rock uh, or blackened speed, blackened thrash. Other times it's far more punk, in your face, spitting, aggressive, attitude driven punk. But actually it's really quite enjoyable. It's a bit of fun. These guys are good musicians. Uh, the bassist is the bassist of also the bassist of Devil Master. Another band, um, black metal band with a serious difference from the USA that I have talked about not that long ago here on the channel is a band you need to hear. Devil Master are a great band. And actually Spitter is very interesting as well. Particular standouts for me include the rather excellently titled opening track there on Side Bats. We've got Suicidal Bloodfucker, which is pretty cool. Um, other particularly good ones, we've got Four Shadows closes side a we've got full satanic power which is another good one as well as cursed eternal they're just quite enjoyable not not particularly long doesn't particularly challenge the mind it's not it's not you know crazy prog or anything like that it's just fairly enjoyable fast paced get your head banging along kind of music you know if you like motorhead if you like which i think is good examples of kind of like punky black metal bands but if you like the more sort of punk driven black metal sound then yeah you're probably really gonna quite enjoy this so that's spitter with bathe the baby in bat's blood from 2022 out on hell hell's headbangers records definitely check that out that's certainly an interesting one indeed so up next uh this is in no particular order it's just the order that i've got them in front of me this one is a real deal. This is real black metal through and through. Aggressive, definitely aggressive and dark. This is from Orda from Norway. And this is entitled The Gospel. The second album from the band. Very creepy cover, I have to admit. Very, 
very creepy, very eye-catching. Out on Listenable Records, um, I believe this was 2021, so a couple of years ago now, I believe. So you've got a good pedigree. It's got a cool, cool uh, shell actually, as I'll show that. So got kind of print all over the shell, which is cool. So yes, we've got quite a good pedigree within this band. We have members of various different outfits, um, been in lots of different bands. Most notably, of course, on drums, we have Mannheim, who is formerly of Mayhem, that early, early material from Mayhem, Norwegian black metal legend. This is definitely black metal, and there is a little bit of a, well, I say a little bit, quite a strong nod to mayhem at times, but in more in terms of the more aggressive kind of mayhem material that we get. Maybe not so much the uh, raw black cult true of the uh, the very epic, very notorious debut album, but maybe what came before, maybe what came after. Don't know. It's not just essentially what I'm trying to say is it's not just um, you know mayhem emulation. It's not just trying to clone mayhem sound. This is quite individual stuff. Sound is, is very good here. Musicianship right across the board is brilliant. Vocals are very unnerving and harrowing at times. But tracks like um, Rise, Bringer of Salt, title track Gospel, or Descend. This is, this is enjoyable stuff. If you like Mayhem, if you like Marduk, if you like bands of that nature, if you like Watain, then definitely this is something that you want to be checking out. It's got, as I say, Excellent musicianship, good pedigree. It's not a particularly long album either. It's somewhere sort of in the 40 minute mark, I believe. Start to finish, we get eerie darkness. We get bleak black battery. It's, it's seriously heavy stuff, but it's really cool. And it just sounds so organic on this lovely tape form. So there we have it. The Order from Norway with their second album, The Gospel. Definitely check that out. That is well worth it. So up next we have another release that, that is quite different, I have to say. This one is a band that I was I was not familiar with, I must admit, prior to actually stumbling upon it when ordering a few bits and pieces from a site however many months ago, and I did feature this, or this did feature, I should say, um, in an unboxing. This is from a band called Batuska, who are from Poland. There's a lot of it seems like there's a lot of different inclinations of this band due to, I don't know, all sorts of internal politics within the lineup and disagreements and claiming the name and all that sort of stuff. I don't really know enough about it, so I'm not going to comment too much on that. Very nice, very nice insert here. And I must admit, I also cannot pronounce the name of this particular EP. So it is an EP. Uh, you get the full EP on both side A and B. So just kind of. You know, you've got the same thing both sides, fine. It flows through absolutely seamlessly. And I think this is a trend with Batushka. So essentially it is the same song title, or the same title, but in parts one, two, five in this instance. And it flows absolutely seamlessly. I have to say, this is stunning black metal. It has such, such atmosphere and such power to it. You know, I, I don't really, I, I'm not a religious person myself. Um, I'm not, um, you know, of faith in that way. But if this is, if this is orthodox black metal, then I can imagine this is the closest thing to having, you know, like an actual kind of religious aspect to it with your sort of chanting and the choirs and the sort of almost Gregorian atmospherics to it. It's really quite difficult to explain but it is very atmospheric stuff. It's very powerful. It's got a very choral kind of uplifting sound to it, but musicianship is fantastic. These are blackened riffs. These are cutting, biting black metal riffs. It just have some really beautiful kind of vocal harmonies in there. Um, really does build, it's really lifting. Reminds me at time of some of the more grandiose sounds that we get from bands like Behemoth, or rotting Christ that aren't afraid to kind of push those boundaries and incorporate almost like chant aspects to it and really quite grand building sweeping passages almost soundscaping 
absolutely mesmerizing stuff. And I would say I've, I've listened to this a lot actually over the last few weeks. Really liking this. Really, really liking this. Um, I'm not going to delve into the kind of religious aspect of it. And I, I don't even know if it is, you know, outright religion that we're talking about here or if it is something of faith. I don't know. Wouldn't like to say. I'm listening to this as a music fan, as a black metal fan. I'm not getting involved in the other business. But I would say, Matushka, with this particular EP, this is a real gem. This is a real gem. If you like Behemoth, if you like Rotten Christ, um, if you like bands that have a lot of power, a lot of, a lot of build in their music, then this is definitely something that you absolutely want to check out. Can't pronounce the, uh, the name of the EP there, but hopefully you can see that on the spine. But the band is entitled Batushka, so definitely check that out. So next article then, we are definitely getting a bit more obscure. This is the 2021 promo tape from Polish black metal band Vermist. And this is literally just two promo tracks. Uh, I don't even think we've got any artwork on the shell or anything there, no indication. This is proper sort of tape trading day homage. Um, and in fact, we've got here, your copy is number 40, written in red by row. That's exactly what we want to see. Vermist. And you know what? This is surprisingly good stuff. Really surprisingly good stuff. Uh, eerie kind of album cover or artwork there, I should say. Some pretty interesting art on the inside as well. It says at the top there off to reality which is definitely an interesting angle to take but hey each to their own and then we've got Belath silhouette on the snow very black metal indeed but it does look like there's a, a full lineup we've got Belath on guitars we've got Umbra on drums and bass and then we've got N on vocals and keys so this particular release from Vermist um, and I have checked out a couple of these uh, of this band's releases I think I have another Vermis tape in the pipeline somewhere here uh, released on Signal Rex records from Portugal really really good uh, label really reliable producing a lot of really underground black metal and this is really underground definitely this is very chilling haunting black metal we've got big grand soundscaping keys we've got Absolutely ethereal, haunting, kind of spectral vocal style. Very much, I think, somewhere between what we get from bands like Dodsford and what we get from, like, Emperor. And I think there's a strong Emperor influence in Vermist. Definitely, uh, I pick up quite a lot of, kind of, Emperor, early Emperor stamp on there. Which is no bad thing. Absolutely not. Um, you know, they're not afraid to incorporate synths. And have that big grand sound and I think that's absolutely fine I'm not one of these black metal truists that absolutely cannot have synth at all or not have keys it has to be just raw war metal not bothered with all that if you can do keys right then fine by all means and these two tracks brilliantly titled we've got night and fog and merciful merc both really good tracks really really good this is what like less than 10 minutes of just quite interesting different very organic and original sounding black metal can't fault it um it's just i just picked it up <laughs> i picked it up on the web store and picked it up out of the collection uh, a few weeks ago just thought oh, i can't remember if i actually checked this one out all that much and actually really enjoying it two really solid tracks um of course i think both of these tracks then feature on the album which i believe is actually called night and fog can't say for sure but i've got the album somewhere um but yeah definitely check out this if you like if you like your emperor you know if you like dodsford if you like bands with a bit of a bit of a difference we've got a bit of a sort of an underlying darkness there then you'll certainly enjoy it so that's vermist with promo tape mmxxi 2021 cool so up next then we're going proper Black Thrash here, and one of my favourite Black Thrash bands. Absolutely love this band. This is Aura Noir with Black Thrash Attack from 1996, uh, released on originally on Peaceville Records um, and Malicious Records. 
re-released on cassette by Darkness Shall Rise Records, who have done a whole lot of reissues over the last few years of a whole lot of cool albums. And this is just one of the latest ones. And I have this on CD, but I, I really do love um, Aura Noir. You know, Apollyon, uh, absolutely fantastic musician. Really, really love that guy. Um, yeah, this is just this is just crucial black thrash, in my opinion. Absolutely brilliant. You've got some real cracking tracks here in the form of Sons of Hades. You've got Con Conqueror. You've got, um, trying to think of the other particularly brilliant ones, obviously the title track, The Pest, it's another good one, um, Destructor, then we've got a brilliant, uh, brilliant cover version of Venom classic, Heaven on Fire, just brilliant. If you love Venom, um, if you love your sort of black and thrash, there's been a lot of black and thrash bands coming out of the woodwork and, uh, you know, rising up in the scene over the last few years, if you like your black thrash faster, Heavier, almost like Black and Speed, actually, with, with Aura Noir. But regardless, if you love your thrashing riffs, then definitely Aura Noir is an album, is a band, I should say, that you absolutely need to hear. And Black Thrash Attack is an album that you definitely need to hear. Really solid album indeed. Um, not overly long. Certainly, I think it's around the sort of 45, 50 minute mark, which is, you know, longer than most. But actually, it's a really solid album. Um, as I say, I've got it on CD, but as soon as I saw it on tape, I was just like, yeah, I've got to have it. I've got to have it. It's a curse of the collector. When you find a band that you love, you just you just can't help it. I can easily justify that. So Black Thrash Attack, Apollyon and Co. Doing what they do best. Keeping with Aura Noir then. My final article here, my sixth article. This is one I do not have on CD. Again, this is a tape released from Darkness Shall Rise Records, 2022. Uh, originally released uh, by Oxidized Razor Records, 2006. This is Live Nightmare on Elm Street. Nearly forgot the title of it then. Again, nice cool shell, black shell with uh, print on there. It's a pretty cool uh, picture of a Polyon aggressor and of course, the great blasphemer. Looking very young and looking very, very black metal indeed. Such a fantastic lineup in this band. When you think of the pedigree of these guys, Aggressor, absolutely fantastic drummer. Apollyon, I, I have to admit, I, I do love Apollyon. Um, he's just, he's just one of those kind of great musicians, and he just seems to have a knack for appearing in <laughs> excellent black metal bands, excellent bands in general. And of course, who can deny the the legendary status of the great blasphemer? absolute legend really nice insert i have to say this is a really high quality product so this was recorded live in oslo norway friday the 26th of november 1996 all those years ago and this was of course um supporting black thrash attack crammed with great tracks here opening with the title track of that album then we get sons of hades dreams like deserts that classic ep then we've got uh, caged wrath the Venom cover, Heaven on Fire, Angel Ripper, The Pest, Forlorn Blessings to the Dream King. Interesting stuff indeed. Just a really, really great, really raw. I would definitely say this is this is more something that is going to appeal to the fans of Aura Noir. If you're an existing fan, this is probably not a good starting point because of the fact that this is very raw. I quite enjoy it. I like the fact that it's very fast and loose, it's very Venom, it's very Motorhead, it's very Celtic Frost. You know, it's got that kind of vibe. It's got that very organic, very raw kind of sound. Certainly very fast and loose. Not the tightest musicianship, not the, the best kind of live recording. But I think that's kind of the whole point. It's not going to sound right for a band like Aura Noir or, you know, with their, with their pedigree playing this sort of blackened thrash. It's not going to sound right for them to have this gleaming, polished, produced, engineered, tarted up live album. This almost sounds like it's recorded from a handheld recorder in the crowd or like straight off the soundboard. Or maybe not that bad. That's probably being being a bit harsh, a bit, a bit of an injustice there. But if you enjoy Aura Noir, if you like those aforementioned legendary musicians, if you like your very lo-fi, very raw, organic black metal, then you're definitely going to enjoy Live Nightmare on Elm Street. 
check it out. So that's my latest batch then, just uh, some of the things that I've been listening to recently, some of my latest acquisitions. I've got Spitter, Bathe the Baby in Bad's Blood from the US of A. Very good, certainly if you like Misfits, if you like Devil Master, if you like your Venom, if you like Aura Noir. Hey, if you like Motorhead, definitely going to enjoy that. Then we've got the what well, Order with the Gospel from Norway. This is this is more for your fans of Mayhem, for your fans of Watain. You know, it's good, good stuff. If you like Behemoth, definitely. Matryoshka, Orthodox Black Metal from Poland. Very interesting stuff indeed. I have to say, it's very unique. Um, if you if you enjoy your Behemoth, if you enjoy Rotting Christ, then that's something you've got to check out. Then we've got Vermist with that great artwork. I have to admit, it's very simple, very stark, but it certainly does the job. Vermist, a must check out if you're an Emperor fan or if you're a fan of, I don't know, quite quite dark, but certainly very bleak and very raw, but um, quite grand sounding synths and keys with your black metal. Then we've got two albums from the legendary Aura Noir. We've got Black Thrash Attack and of course we've got Live Nightmare on Elm Street. What I do like about that, that particular live album is the cover, the live shot. That works. Works well. So there you have it. There's uh, my latest, some of my latest listens, some of my latest acquisitions. What are your thoughts and opinions on these releases? Have you heard them? Have you not? Are you a fan of them? Are you not a fan? If you've never heard them, check them out. You've got a good starting point there of some obscure black metal recommendations. Good place to start. Whether or not you consider them all to be obscure, I don't know. I would say that they're not necessarily the first thing that you're going to stumble upon. But hey, each to their own. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Please do feel free to like and subscribe. It's always very much appreciated. Please do check back soon for more reviews and recommendations of all the good heavy things. Take care of yourselves, my friends. And until next time, stay heavy.